as if you're unlucky like me and the thermostat on your Suzuki Bergman 650 Gen 2 has failed then it's a bit and a half to take it out um, as you can see I had to take a lot of body work out initially I thought this was the thermostat but it's actually the water pump so I bought the service manual and did some research and um, found that the thermostat is actually behind the left engine cover so if you stand in front of your bike the left side is where the thermostat is and as you can see I pulled the tabs and everything out all the bodywork is hanging around so the first step you'll do is take this middle part out once that is out then you rip the footrest and there's a tab up here there's a screw here tab here and there's a bunch of screws some attached to the frame as well so make sure you put it in a ziplock bag and name it okay so just be careful with the tabs as you can see the direction of the tabs this doesn't need to be removed but got pulled out anyways don't be hard on it uh, this this doesn't need to be removed either but it helps if it sways a little bit and most importantly look at the direction of these tabs they are in upward direction so don't pull the bodywork out otherwise you're gonna break all of these so you gotta be pulling it up and same thing when you put it back in uh, this goes through here and then down and this is not too hard you can see all the screws you can take it out make sure you put it in a ziplock bag and then once the bodywork is out da -da -da, that's your thermostat so now the service repair manual says disconnect the radiator hose and this one once we take these two out then we remove these screws these two bolts rather and then we replace the thermostat and then in reverse order we put everything back in Okay, so out you go. So this one don't use um, the pliers directly on the hoses because otherwise you'll rip it off. So we're gonna put some cloth and then otherwise we can just try to tug it with our hands. Should come out. Oh, it's a bit tight. It's okay, I'll figure it out. There's a screw here on this bit. This needs to be undone. Then the clamp will be loose and then we pull it out. And then we take these two and then replace the thermostat. All right, as you can see, thermostat was not working. That's why all the coolant was clogged in. Um, well, I really hope this doesn't fail for you. So this is the second generation Bergman. Um, I'm sure the first one is pretty much the same direction it's just on top of the left engine cylinder so just on the side look at that how much body work you have to remove but Suzuki has made this really difficult just look at the direction of the tab but I tell you what once you know how to remove this and once you know how to do your own maintenance you're gonna love it this is a great bike i almost paid 10 grand for this bike that i found and the owners did not disclose to me that the cooling system had failed because the thermostat wasn't working and uh, this one has only 600 kilometers on it that's why i immediately bought it but 
other than this bit um, once you know how to remove the left side the right side you should be invincible and you should be able to do pretty much all the maintenance <clears throat> even if you just remove the bodywork and go to the shop uh, they should be able to do the valve clearances for you which you have to do every 24,000 kilometers so like I said it's pretty simple remove the footrest uh, the footboards they come out quite easily even with hand see this remove the screws remove the tabs and then just be gentle when you're pulling out the bodywork this one goes in upward direction not sideways don't use brute force be patient with it okay but the hoses are out this one i put a cloth over it and then pulled it with pliers don't use direct pliers on it you will tear the pipe <sighs> now to remove the thermostat okay screws are removed there comes the bastard so with this one there is a jiggle valve at the top and when you install a new one that needs to go at the top the valve basically just looks like a hole and the replacement part is Suzuki 17670-06G51 so it's a, a genuine Suzuki part now I'll replace this I'll be back so Suzuki has superseded this part this is a new one this is the old one it was a bit difficult to come out but it is out new one is in so assembling steps just reverse so you're going to put the housing back in attach the cables put the bodywork back in make sure it's sitting nice in the tabs all the screws footrests everything and then hope for the best all right rocky out <laughs>